Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you a quick tutorial on how to use stamps in Procreate. Okay, so first we are gonna pick our color. I'm gonna start with black. Now we're gonna go to our brush library. I'm gonna scroll down. I'm gonna pick one of my mountain stamps. I'm gonna go with mountain number three. If you don't have Procreate stamps but you want to get into using them, you can purchase them on Creative Market. You can purchase them on Etsy. I have some for sale in my shop as well, and all of the links are in the description. Okay, so we're gonna use this mountain stamp right here. Um, before we get started, we're just gonna adjust the size of it right here on our sidebar, because I want it to be pretty large. Let's make it a little bit bigger. Okay, so now there's a couple different ways you can add color to customize your stamps. So the first way is just pick one color and just start dragging it in just like this. And then the second way is if you tap on your layer and tap alpha lock, you can add more colors. So let's see here. Let's add this like lighter color. Now, before we start adding this lighter color, we have to make sure we are on a different brush. So I'm gonna go to my brushes, I'm gonna pick my mono line brush, and then we're gonna start. So like I can add some more colors if I want while in alpha lock and really customize the stamp to what I want. Okay, and then there is another way to add color if you want. So what you can do is add a second layer, tap on the layer and tap clipping mask. Okay, so clipping mask is a little bit different than alpha lock. So all the colors that we did in alpha lock are set. They're staying there. We can't change them. We can't edit them. Once you use alpha lock, once you pick your colors, you're pretty much set on those colors. But if you do a clipping mask, everything on this layer two is clipped to the layer one. So if you happen to decide that you want a different color scheme on your stamp, all you have to do is delete your layer two and all of the colors on your clipping mask will disappear and you will be able to start over. So basically the difference between Clippy Mask and Alpha Lock is Alpha Lock, pretty much once you choose your colors and drag them in, they're set like that indefinitely. But with Clippy Mask, you can choose your colors, you can drag them in, you can customize. And then if you decide, eh, I don't like that scheme, you can totally delete it and start from scratch. Okay, so let's add a couple more colors with this clay mask so I can show you. So it's very similar to Alpha Lock. So we're gonna color this top part right here, just like that. There we go. You can add as many colors as you want with the clay mask, it's really up to you. So like if we want to do maybe this white up here, we can do that as well. Make some more snow on the mountain. And then, okay, so now we've done all that and then we've decided, you know what, I don't really like it. I wanna change it. So all we have to do is go to delete and it deletes it deletes the entire clippy mask and then we can start from scratch. So now I wanna show you a couple other things you can do with your stamp. So first things first is if you go to this little icon that looks like a mouse and click it, this is your transform tool. So what's really cool about the transform tool is you can move your stamp. Now, I'm not just talking about moving it around on your canvas, I'm talking about flipping it. So let's say you're making a big like illustration and you're using a couple of these mountains and you want them to look a little bit different. So what we can do is we can go down here, we can flip horizontal if we want to, we can flip vertical if we want to, we can rotate if we want to, we can fit your stamp to screen if we want to. Let me shrink it back. 
Um, and so there's a couple different options. So I love using flip horizontal and flip vertical for my stamps because when I'm making a big illustration and I want some variation, I don't want all of the mountains to look exactly the same. I want them to look a little bit more organic. So I use flip horizontal a ton. So let's do that now. And then to save what you have done under your transform tool, you're going to want to click that mouse. So if you do all of this and you forget to click the mouse, nothing will be saved. So let's click the mouse right now. And there you have it, everything saved. So just quick recap, all you have to do to use your stamps is you can do your dragging your colors in, you can do alpha lock, you can do clipping mask, and then when you're done and happy with your scheme, you can move and flip and turn with the transform tool. And that's all you have to do, it's pretty cool. And you can customize in whatever way you want. And that's it. Okay, thanks so much for watching.